this week on The Fish Guys. Got him! First cast. Well, what I try to do sometimes is throw it right in their mouth. That's a cute little snook he's got there. It is, that's cuddly. These are racing stripes. It's almost like a snook, just smaller. You're on, Whoa. you're on. Fish on! Down here on Murata, when the court goes under, we set the hook. That's a nice one there. Oh, I got bit. Oh, nice trout. trout. Got a fish on. Nice trout. I love the smell of gulps in the morning. It smells like sea trout. There he is! Oh! Oh! oh there he goes! There we go! Yeah! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Fish on, boys! Woo! Isla Morada, sport fishing capital of the world. More charter fishing boats make birth here than anywhere else on Earth, and for good reason, too. From deep in the backcountry to outside the reef, Isla Morada is known for phenomenal fishing. It's here on the docks of Worldwide Sportsmen that Captains George and Lane meet up with old buddy, Captain Matt Bellinger of Bamboo Charters. Matt! George! How you doing? Lane, what's up, what's up Matt? You brought him, didn't you? Yeah, I had to. I had to. I tried to leave him this morning and it was like an old dog. He just followed the car down the road, so I stopped, opened the door, and let him in. So what are we gonna do today? You know Let's just go have fun. We, we got that cool transition. We got our first real blast of fall slash winter. We'll see what happens. The fish have been reacting good. They gotta get hungry when it gets cold. I know I did. So we'll see if we can go That's feed them some chili. Big pot of chili. Big pot of chili. So maybe some jalapeno cornbread with cheddar cheese oh. on it. Man. Dunk it in there. Yes. I just put a whole piece in there and let it the spoon it. In a shrimp. Yeah. The pilchard. Let's, Let's go fishing. Let's talk about food all day. Let's go. Cool. Very Let's good. Get out of here. A good day fishing starts with a great morning catching bait. So, with Captain Eric Rodriguez at the helm of the 25 foot contender bait boat, this well seasoned crew sets out to fill the live well. Doing our normal little pilchard run this morning. We got plenty of shrimp, but it's always nice if we can catch pilchards, put some in the live well. Captain's looking back there, Eric on the depth finder to see if he can mark the school. It'd be a big blob of red, and then we got some chum. We'll chum to the surface and throw the net on. Tying the old uni to uni knot, line the leader connection here. Got some 10 pound spider wire, ultra cast Invisibrade. It's a lot of words, but it's good stuff. Find it, ultra cast Invisibrade. Put some 40 pound, Berkeley Vanish leader material and a uni to uni knot. Great line to leader connection, super strong. It's basically just two knots pulling against each other. Keeps the braid from cutting through the fluorocarbon leader. You know, it's one of the great debates, those knots. Everybody wants to talk about, well, yeah, I use this knot, then that knot, and this knot, and then that knot. What do you use? It's basically two knots. You, you find two knots you're comfortable with, they're gonna work every time, and every time you tie it, it's right. Just get good a couple knots. Poorly tied knot becomes a pair of scissors. It cuts line. Now it just fails. Can I get a circle hook, please, sir? Sure. What flavor would you like? Uh, three out, four yeah, out, sure. seven I'll take out, a three out, twelve out, three out, four out. Perfect. Look at that. that is perfect. That is nice. Offset Daiichi three out circle hook. Ooh. Lane's crossing over to the dark side with me. Makes me excited when we got good bait. Rigged and ready, the guys head deeper into the backcountry in search of snook, trout, redfish, and tarpon. Catching any three of these amounts to a backcountry slam, and Captain Eric knows the perfect spot to begin. Did you know, Lane, that koala bears get all of the water they need from licking leaves? What? That's why their breath smells like eucalyptus. It's true, I'm not lying. Where does he come up with this stuff? The, crane, the, the coloring books he has are educational. <laughs> oh, that's good coloring book. Oh. Got he got him on the Fish second. On? second on the second. No, he came at me. He came at me. Got him! First cast. Well, what I try to do sometimes is throw it right in their mouth. Oh, fish on! Got got double, 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 double header! Look at me. A little Everglades snook here, I think. Got Captain Eric on the boat, Captain Whoa. Matt Bellinger, and the quick release. release. The, quick, the quick release. Now, see, what I show people is this looks very similar to a walleye up north. 
They, they have these dorsals that are real similar, body shape similar. That's a cute little snook he's got there. It is, that's cuddly. These are racing stripes. It's almost like a snook, just smaller. Yeah, it's just like a walleye only in warm water and silver and got a black line. Oh, I think I just got bumped again, boys. Fish on! You got another one? Oh, I oh, cannot but, stay but you're telling up. me we're not speed fishing. Uh, well, no. You gotta set hook harder on that circle again, Wayne. Said nobody ever. George, I'm dying over here, dude. I'm dying. You're dying of what? Circle hooks are killing me, dude. Don't, don't set the hook. I'm trying dead. not to. It's embedded just in my be, brain. Just, hey, just tell yourself, just the, just the wine slow. Just got bit. Don't there set the is. hook. Don't set the just hook. Just one, just one, just one easy. I did. Look, I got Oh, he's it. trying to eat it. That's a plain hook. There's nothing on no, it. No, there's a, there's a pilchard on it. Why are you going to scream at me? Because I got excited. So much pressure. I'm just trying to fish here. Enjoy the day. Did you not see him? He had his head no, out. No, I water. didn't see it. I was too busy complaining about the oh, circle God, hook. Geez. Golly. Hey, Lane. Hey, Georgie. <laughs> oh, wise guy. <laughs> Fish on, fish on. He set don't the hook set again, the hook. Don't set the hook. Set the hook. Come on! He set the hook. Did he set the hook he again? Set the hook again. <laughs> yeah. Or that was the most violent rod lift I've ever seen. <laughs> Here, let me get this for you. See if we can set it. There it is, another one. This will be fun, Lane. We'll fish with circle hooks all day. Catch plenty of fish. I don't have a problem. It's doing easy. It. Just don't set the hook. I don't have a problem doing it. It's not easy, George. I'm trying. Lane's getting edgy. Circle hooks. George keeps telling circle hooks. They're great. You need to use you them. Better you better not say anything them. bad I'm about trying, the tackle I'm trying I Trying my best. It's not the hook's fault. You're right. It's not. The Fish Guys is brought to you by Contender, legendary sport fishing boats. Berkeley. Your fish, our science. Daiichi, world's sharpest hooks. Service Master Restore, restoring peace of mind. Isla Mirada, in the Florida Keys. Got one. I don't know. I just can't get a hook in them. <laughs> the balance of nature is reset once you get again. Get bent like that. Why? 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 Fast, fast, fast. Now lift. What am I doing wrong? You're not doing anything wrong. Well, how am I not getting you're a not hook in them? That's what you're doing wrong. I think what he's trying to say is you're not getting it right. No, listen. I'd rather be a little more aggressive on the wind. Yes. To get the hook to go in them. Okay. You know what I mean? Like sail fishing's completely different. You just wind and get tight, and the hook gets them. You know, you just gotta, whatever, just catch one. Oh, that's a bite, that's a bite. Didn't set the hook, I did not set the hook. <laughs> oh, you don't know how hard that was for me. Ooh, that's a nice one. He's always got something to say, Matt. Sorry, He's thought, always got something to say. I thought it was a snapper. Oh, you thought it was a snapper? Well, huh? when I first saw it, I thought it was a snapper. I wasn't making fun of you. Sure. How awesome is it, Matt? How many of these snook we're catching these days? Well, huh? the, seeing this this year class is phenomenal. Yes. Then yeah, I just I've seen more. I've seen more snook this year than I've seen in the last ten years. That's awesome. Matt. I mean, it's they've made a heck of a good comeback. And of all sizes, that's the great thing. Got him. There it is, right out of the trees. And one of the big reasons I use the circle hooks is because, you know. Mortality. The, the mortality, yeah. 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 The catch rate. That's me too, Eric. You don't hook them in the gills, you don't, they don't oh. swallow it. I tend not to hook them with circle hooks, so it's well, good so for the you, fish. You don't stress them, exactly. You get good practice, though. <laughs> Look at that, right in the lip, now watch. Boop, it's out. This fish is in no danger whatsoever. We're gonna turn him back there, he's gonna swim right back into the trees. He's gonna pout a little bit, and gonna have a little toothache, but that's it. I'm gonna retie my circle hook here. This isn't a circle hook, by the way. Can't teach an old dog new tricks. This it truly isn't a snell hook. That's a uni knot, my favorite knot. But you see how that makes it pull right up the shaft of the hook. Bam. Eric's just being nice. That's a not so circle octopus hook. All right, here we go. This oh, is the blood red. Get you. Oh yeah. The bleeding. The bleeding. Bleeding bait yes. hook. How was that? I'm about to get bit. I'm going to set the hook so hard, George. I can't wait. I'm not going to get another fight. Watch. You got it, Bassmaster. Come get you some. Got another got fish? Got one! 
The catfish? Yeah, snook cat. And look, of course, I'm not gonna get a bite. I actually got a hook on that catches fish. Well, it's and the I juju, get a bite. man. You got the jujus all wrong. Now. I got really bad juju, Matt. All right, where that hook needs to be. You want to show that to Lane, Eric? Lane, look it. See where that what? is? Look where he's what? hooked. I'm not looking. No, why you see this? It's right, right in the tip of the lip, right here. And this is part of why the fishery has gotten so good. Yeah. A lot of healthy fish of, being cause released. Because of, of stewards like me and you and people that fish there circle hooks. Nice. Of course. <laughs> I'm then out here Lane. destroying the environment. Yeah, then I'm Lane. out here just destroying You the carnivore. <laughs> you pescatarian, you. Hey, Lane. What, George? What, what, what? You know an ostrich's eyes bigger than his brain? How much of this crap do you have? I mean, I don't I mean, when, I mean when does it end? You know, you it just, you like know what? Abundance. When does you it just, end, George? You just, you just think on. that you know, you know everything. I'm not saying I know everything, but sometimes I get tired of your crap. Well, I'm just giving you some fun facts. They're giving me a hard time because I'm not using the circle hook. But look, there's that old octopus Daiichi live bait hook right in the corner of the mouth. Look at that. That's a beauty. Support his neck when you do that. A little bit. Support his neck? Yeah, don't break his neck. Don't trying to break get his out. neck? I mean, it was a good hook shot. All right, buddy. Thank you. The good old common snook there. Established in 1998 by Mike Forrester, Mangrove Mike's Cafe is a lot more than just a popular Isla Mirada eatery. It stands as a beacon of hope in the local community. Mike's passion for fishing lives on in these walls, but is surpassed by his legacy of selfless devotion for helping those in need. Here's our buddy Mike. Yep, yeah, making, making a big paella. paella. Doing something for the community always, like he always did. Always did. All right, yeah. here we go. Wow. <laughs> there you go. Be careful Sweet. the top plate's gonna be hot, okay? Why did, I, is, oh, why did I get the mini one, Jack? You're on a diet, I hear. What? You ordered me a mini tot tower? Oh, but. You said you were on a diet. That was like a year ago. Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Everyone's set? Do we need anything? Yeah, else? we're all I think set. those I are think, for me. Yeah, you need that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Your big tot tower. Yeah, most people wouldn't actually eat with those utensils, but for you, who cares? Who knows? Wow. Oh, Cinnamon oh, roll? There it is. Yes, yes, thank, thank you. you so much. Here you go. Uh -uh. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Wait a minute. You what? You're not going to share that at all with mm -hmm. me? What? It's your tots, dude. You eat your tots. Mm hmm. I'm on a diet. Oh, okay. I'll be right back. Yeah. Oh look, a blue marlin. <laughs> that was the last one in the case. That guy that walked out earlier bought a whole bag up. I'd go look for him. His name's Steve. <clears throat> go look for him, he went south. You're a pig. I'm not a pig. Yeah, you are. Good lunch, great idea, buddy. Great idea, I love mangrove mics. And uh, oh, what? I'm gonna go out to the car. Dude. Thank you so hey, much, Jackie. Jackie. You want me to pack I, these up to go for you? Can I get one of those, okay. please, Jackie? Oh, Thank can you I so much. What? You bought what? them all? No, I didn't buy it. Somebody else did. Jack, I'll be out here, Jackie, whenever uh, they're ready. Thanks. George and Lane are deep in the Isla Mirada backcountry with Captains Matt Bellinger and Eric Rodriguez. A hot snook bite has checked one species off their quest for a backcountry slam. Now with the changing tide, the guys leave the mangrove shorelines behind in search of their next catch. Looking for trout, so we're drifting some grass flats out here where there's been some mullet activity and the trout coexist with the mullet. As the mullet eat the algae off the bottom, they spook out the crustaceans, so the trout hang with them and eat all the crustaceans. So we look for this kind of a dusty water you see here, that's a little dirty, showing some mullet activity and we're just working some artificials looking for a trout bite. You're on, Whoa. you're on. Fish on! Down here in Alamorado, when the court goes under, we set the hook. It's a good fish, huh? Feels good. What you got, George? It's a lunker. Oh, look at that. It's a lunker. Lane, why can't you be more like George today? Look at just today. Just Not all the time, cast. just today. I mean, he's lucky, Matt. He's making up for that last trip when we weren't when he wasn't here. Well, and if you remember the trip before that, a lot of whining and complaining. There was a lot of whining. And Rod throwing. You see me, I'm I'm a good teammate. Good job, buddy. Good That's job. Nice one there. Look at look That's at where the bait's at. Trout. In his mouth. Swallowed that. You huh? can't resist the Berkeley. That is a beautiful trout. Well, we'll let this one go. 
You might want to record that. You don't hear that very often, huh, Matt? He wants to let a fish go. You feeling okay? I am. I'm gonna let it go right into the fish box. <laughs> the Fish Guys is brought to you by Contender, legendary sport fishing boats. Jefferson's Ocean, aged at the mercy of the sea. Keys Deep, fish, dive, live. Power Pole Shallow Water Anchor, swift, silent, secure. Booyah Clean, EPA Safer Choice and Direct Release Marine Cleaning Products. I got a really good idea. I have a whole thing of Oreos, Eric. Oh boy. Double stuffers, man. Oh boy. One day Oreo's gonna leave a big giant like tractor trailer supply of them outside my door and probably <laughs> like four to six 50 gallon drums of fresh squeezed milk. So George, could you explain to me exactly what fresh squeezed milk is? Just wondering, I mean, is that from the milk fruit? No, you, you, squeeze, you squeeze the udders to get the milk out. Cows have udders, right? And fresh squeezed ones were like made today not pasteurized, fresh, straight That's out the cow. That's an utterly ridiculous statement you just made. <laughs> no, it's not. This boat suddenly is lactating any common sense at all. <laughs> Fish on right there. Oh, hey, George. Yeah. Thank you, George. Dropping some good info on us and catching fish. It doesn't get any better than this. Oh, it's a male. He's doing the drum. Beauty. And the males are generally a little smaller than the females, right? The females are the Normally, bigger. Normally, yeah, you're a female in most of the fish species is always gonna be bigger. They need the body mass to produce the eggs. Okay. To maintain them. Nice. Oh, I got bit. There we go. Oh, nice trout. trout. Got a fish right on. Nice trout. Got a fish there on. There he is. Just changed my bait and on the first cast, caught a trout. Went to a power bait jerk shad instead of the shrimp. Little trout. It's got a mouthful of teeth, but if it bit me, it wouldn't even break the skin. Beauty, we're gonna let that one go. Not quite big enough. There's you go. Got another one? Got one. This one's not nearly Nearly as big though, Lane. That's still decent fish right there, man. Well, they are they're sucking they these. They are chewing those yeah, Berkleys. They're sucking them right in. Yep, there it is. There you go. Look at that, That's that thing wiggles a little bit. Secret recipe from KFC got nothing on that gulp. I love the smell of gulps in the morning. It smells like sea trout. Next time on The Fish Guys, Captains George and Lane continue their quest to complete a backcountry slam. Right here, right here, he's coming down the shore. He's coming down this edge right here. Yeah, I see him, I see him. There they go, they're eating the freebies. Eating, that's a redfish, that's a redfish, that's a redfish. He got, he got, him. Yes. got him, got him, got him. Got him, Lane. Oh, where's the other one? Right there, George, right behind me. Nice redfish. It's a beauty. Good job, Captain Eric. Let's head to the kitchen where Chef Cat and the guys prepare their favorite fan recipes. Brought to you by Bubba. Sharp on the water, now sharp in the kitchen. Today's dish comes from Helen Whitmere of Dakula, Georgia. First, we're gonna do our salt and pepper mix, please. You've got that down pat. Beautiful. Very nice, and we're gonna give it a- It's raining oh, sorry. seasoning. Do this one now too for me. This is a cumin and paprika blend. Lovely. And we're just gonna put it down. Hello. Oh, I love the sear. Hello. Nice, beautiful. While the Mahi Mahi cooks, Chef Kat and the guys prepare a fresh mango salsa by mixing red onion, mango, pineapple, cilantro, and lime juice. Once seared on both sides, the fish and salsa are served together for a delicious pairing few things can rival. That is some amazing mango salsa. Wow. Whoa. That's one way to do it. That's a bite right there. Mouthful mm. of fabulousness. <laughs> mm -hmm. That combination mm -hmm. is awesome. Nothing? I love it. Really good. Go to fishguystv.com. The recipe's there. Follow the directions. Very simple. Doesn't take a long time. Nope, not Think at all. Look her up to on the website. You're killing it. You're killing it. Yay! You're kill killing me. You're killing me, man. Can you have that bite? Yeah. <laughs> Slow down. I want to try some more. Here, use my spoon. No, I'm not touching that spoon. Closed captioning and the cooking segment for the Fish Guys is brought to you by Bubba. 
now offering a complete kitchen knife set featuring expertly crafted German steel. Bubba, water to plate. Be sure to check out thefishguystv.com to catch up on your favorite episodes, book a charter, and purchase exclusive Fish Guys apparel. And don't forget to follow us on your favorite social media site for behind-the-scenes access to The Fish Guys.